Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show with me, your host Sean. Now, I wasn't planning on doing another video, but when certain YouTubers that have a much bigger subscriber base than me, when their maths kind of make me think, how do you have these numbers? Uh, you know, it kind of makes me step back and wonder if I'm making a mistake or if it's what well, you know, why no one calls them on anyway. So, anyway, so a YouTuber who I've watched for a while and I've respected has come up with he's going into PSTH, no problem with that. I've said for a long while, how. Uh, PSTH is a good spec to go into. Uh, it looks like, well, you know, it's going to be subscribed. And because we've seen the breadcrumbs, it's, it's going to be striped. Now, the thing is, he is he's trying to get other people in there. I've never done that. I've always said, it's your decision, it's your money, it's your risk. Uh, the I'm just here to give you the information so you can make your own mind up. I never try to persuade people or dissuade people. Now, this guy has come up with what's the downside? He's gone. I think once they announce, they will double their money. You'll double your money. You'll get 100% back. Fair enough. That must sound. And he's gone. The moment is $24. Well, that's gone up a bit. It's over $25. But we'll let that slide. When he's recorded it, it's probably $24. It's gone. So that means you're, the most you lose is 4%. I'm sorry, but. It got on the market at twenty dollars. Four dollars is not four percent of twenty dollars. So you need to redo your maths, especially when you're doing a video. Anyway, that beside, uh, you know, I don't want to start calling out people I do genuinely think once they announce it it will go up and I do think there is no question that Stripe is the one it will be now I was in from $22 and hopefully some of you guys are in as well but I'm not just here for that, I'm here for to speak about a couple of other specs and work also, of course. Now, I did a video on the best way to hedge work horse, uh, TPIC and RMG was the best way, and at this point. RMG was down about $10, $11. TPIC was $30. Now, full disclosure, um, when Workhorse hit $30, I sold some, not many, about 100 shares, 150 shares. Now, I moved the money from that into Romeo, and TPIC. Now they've both had recent run-ups. I have sold them. Today I've sold some of TPIC. I still hold some TPIC. And I'll explain why. Um, of course Workhorse dipped today and I bought up, I bought back in 
to workhorse. So basically, I have I no longer have the Romeo shares. I have bought back in the hundred shares of workhorse, and with my profit, I still have fifty TPIC shares and a few quid left over where I bought a couple of foot locker where it also dipped. Now, you may have seen my previous video on MGA uh, signing a letter of intent with Lion Electric and I mentioned in there how Lion Electric are going to stop using Romeo. Now, it's not Romeo's biggest customer but it also sends a message if a company like Lion Electric can stop using them so can other companies and although Workhorse is using them they're using them because their own supplier couldn't supply the batteries their preferred supplier so what's to stop Workhorse going back to the preferred supplier? What's to stop Workhorse to going back to uh, to going to Lion Electric if they give them a better deal? I don't think that'll happen. I still think Romeo will still hold a great place in the market, but at the same time, Romeo has dipped a little bit as well. I could have picked up Romeo. However, I think. TPIC is one of the number one players in making the blades for the wind farms. Uh, it's more diverse, it isn't just the batteries. Say for instance, the batteries in one of the cars that Romeo provides the batteries for, start glows up, it's gonna cause so much headache for them. Look what happened with Boohoo. Just a hint of a scandal and the major suppliers left. It's only because the smaller ones didn't have uh, a deal with another, uh, uh, sorry, major contracts left. The smaller contracts companies didn't have a similar deal with another company. They didn't leave. Now, we with TPIC, they make the bodies for workhorse, and they are not uh, known for the bodies for workhorse. They are known for the blades for the wind farms. So, if something happens with the body with workhorse truck and the bodies for it, we still have that, and vice versa. And NGA, I think. Has a, its own little moat in Lion Electric. I think Lion Electric has its own moat, and I'm surprised that they don't uh, advertise it more on their website. They should do. Because yeah, what they have on their website just isn't enough. And really, they have so much more to their company. I spoke bay in previous videos anyway I'd like to know what you guys are in are you guys going in APXT NGA SBE let me know I'm interested and don't forget to check out links in the description below and hit the like button and comment down below in the description down below in the box below helps with the YouTube algorithm and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't become part of the Seven Money Show family. We give each other hints and tips and uh, if, if you have any questions don't forget to leave them in the box below. I'll see you in the next video. That's all for now.